this sample has um, some sand, some sand grains in it that you can actually visually see, probably up to about a millimetre or more. Anything finer than, uh, than, than coarse, well, medium sand you can't actually see visually because the particle size is too small. This sample here, um, you know, all the particle size is very, very fine, so you can't distinguish the grain size just by, by a visual analysis. Um, the other thing, when you're handling the soil, the, the sandy sample, when you rub it between your fingers, you, you feel the texture, the grain, the coarse grains between your finger, fingers. Um, the finer materials, uh, silty material will feel, feel more like you can get a flowery sort of feel between when you rub it between your fingers, so that very fine feel. And in clay, the sample here's got a bit more clay in it, and and the clay on your fingers is it will actually uh, feel a bit like um, talcum powder when you rub it between your fingers. So it's it's quite silky to to the touch. Just those fine little grains uh, when you're handling it. If you can smell any composting uh, type odour, uh, then there's organic matter in it and it's probably best to discard that, that material. So when you take a wee sample and, and um, just chew it between, rub it between your teeth and, and you feel it's like you've dropped your sandwich in the beach <laughs> and you've picked it up again and started to chomp on it and <laughs> you soon find that there's a bit of, there's a bit of grit in there. The clay is quite pasty and, and it'll quite quite smooth on your teeth. So it's the, the test, the wash test that we, we talk about is, is really once you start to add water to the soil and the clay particles tend to be the sticky bits and as you see when we start to do the other tests it will stick to your hands. You can um, rub it on, on your arms and let it dry and uh, see how difficult it is to pick Again, all these tests are indicative tests. They, you can't jump to too many conclusions right at the start because you'll you get caught out very quickly. Uh, particularly with silts, they tend to pretend to be clays a lot of the time and quite difficult to distinguish between the two. So there's a number of other tests that we'll, we'll go through and uh, they'll give you some idea.